optimization. In this section, we'll talk about three different things. Content targeting, where we'll discuss issues such as the natural flow and writing style of your content, and we'll cover what keyword density is. We'll also talk about the length of your content as well, and when to break out your website pages based on their theme. We'll also review certain formatting aspects of your page's content from last week's webinar as well, list, like lists, strong and EN tags, and page headings. First, let's understand what web page copywriting is before we move into natural flow and keyword density. SEO copywriting should use proper keyword targeting and selection as its foundation, as we talked about at length earlier today. The keywords you ultimately select must work and flow well with the content you wind up writing and vice versa. On the pages of your website, there should always be a sufficient amount of what's known as indexable copy. Indexable copy is text that can be spidered and crawled through by search engines. The text on your pages should not be images or flash pieces or shouldn't have heavy amounts of scripts or programming processing them. The text on your pages should also be legible and readable to anyone, as we've talked about today as well. Avoid using heavily technical language unless it's the most appropriate time and page to do so. One practice that is starting to gain popularity in copywriting is to write your copy at a 6th or 7th grade level. The theory behind this is that if a 6th or 7th grader can read and understand the content, so can the majority of your visitors and so can the search engines. Of course, that is going to be different for each website depending on the nature of your business. Finally, allow your content to be compelling and engaging to your visitors. Don't bore your visitors or talk down to them. Speak to them, not at them. Concentrate on the audience that you're trying to speak to and use terms and jargon that is used by the majority of your audience. The combination of these four things comprise SEO copywriting. Let's start by looking at proper content flow. This first paragraph talks about women's running shoes in a clear and concise manner and talks about their money back guarantee. This paragraph flows smoothly and doesn't seem like some kind of spam. In the second example, the word women's running shoes is used five different times in a clear attempt to artificially inflate their natural rankings for the keyword. The content doesn't flow properly and looks unprofessional. On top of that, search engines view this as a very big no-no and will grade pages with content like this very negatively. Therefore, avoid oversaturating your content with too many of the same keyword on the same page or paragraph. Keyword density is a touchy subject in search engine optimization and very often taken advantage of. Like we showed in the previous example of bad content flow, many marketers oversaturate the content on their pages with the same keyword far too many times which renders the content unreadable or spammy. Other times, keywords aren't used at all on a page, which search engine spiders can interpret as a lack of relevance by a page. For keywords that are three or four words in length, a 4% keyword density is usually a good average. However, if your keywords are five or more words in length, your keyword density should be more along the lines of one or 2%. Similar to keyword research, there are also a handful of free tools on the internet that can measure your keyword density. However, these tools require that the content on your pages are plain text and not images or flash. More Visibility has a free tool on our website that can check the keyword density on a website. To go there, visit tools.morevisibility.com forward slash keyword hyphen density and evaluate the keyword density on your own website. Keyword dilution occurs when there are either too many of the same keyword present on the same web page, or when the page doesn't really focus on any keyword in particular. This really ties back into keyword density. However, it's extremely important to note that keyword density is simply a calculation for you and your website, not a standard or a guideline provided by any search engine. Keyword density, keyword stuffing, and keyword dilution 
are simply terms that are used in the search engine optimization community that refer to best practices and what has produced better results over time. The actual keyword density or keyword usage of one individual keyword across the internet is impossible to calculate, not only due to the sheer volume of words on the internet, but also because search engines do not release this type of information publicly. Our slide on the screen here shows some attempts at calculating internet-wide keyword density and keyword stuffing figures by individuals in the SEO community. However, they all agree that there is no exact calculation available. The best thing to do is to write human legible copy for the pages on your site without using a keyword unnaturally throughout the copy. There is also a great amount of debate in the search engine optimization community on what proper length of your copy on your pages should be. Normally, anywhere from 200 to about 500 words in length should work well for your pages. It's understandable that there are several instances where it takes a lot more than 500 words to explain or describe something. In these cases, a good technique is to break out these very long pages into two, three, or more pages. This may also help you break out pages into different topics and subtopics, if that's one of the issues you're currently facing. This is a good visual example and can be used as a pretty good rule of thumb when trying to determine if the pages on your website are too long. Take a look at both of these screenshots. If the entire page or most of the whole page fits on your browser window without you having to scroll down, chances are that your page is good to go as far as length goes. The area of the web page you can see without having to scroll down is known as being above the fold, and it's where your website will guess most of their attention. Content that is above the fold gets read and seen right away by your website visitors, and it may be missed if your content is only immediately viewable if your users have to scroll down. If your page is more along the lines as the screenshot to the right with a very large scroll bar, chances are your page is far too long and needs to be broken out into individual pages. Of course, this rule of thumb works under the assumption that you are viewing a website in a common operating system resolution size, such as 800 by 600 or 1024 by 768. It's important to remember that regardless of the size, each page should always have at least 200 words of plain, indexable content on that page. Try to also organize your content by placing the most important content higher up on the page with supporting arguments and other points or facts lower on the page. Another common mistake that's made is having different themes on the exact same page. Sometimes this is done on purpose to fulfill the 200 to 500 word best practice. Other times, it is easier for marketers to place all of the text on one individual page. Neither of those reasons are acceptable in search engine optimization. In this example, we have shoes, hats, and gloves in our left-hand navigation bar. Instead of having all three categories on the same page, we've broken them out into three separate pages within our website. This way, someone looking for shoes can go directly to the shoes category or subcategory section, someone looking for gloves to the gloves section, and so on. It's not only an intelligent thing to do as far as search engines goes, it's an intelligent thing to do as far as user experience is concerned. 